Okay, so here it is in Mac uh, in MacBook Pro goodness at 2011. Like I said, it is that model because of course I've, I've got the CD drive. But uh, yeah, about ports of everything. We've got the uh, MagSafe charger, but before I plug that in, we've got Ethernet, we've got Firewire, we've got Thunderbolt and two USB ports, and um, my and a SD card holder and a um, uh, headphone jack. So I'll just plug this back in and the CD drive at the other side. So I'll just plug the MagSafe back in, put a green light, and then it'll go back to orange because it's not fully charged yet, it's at 70%. Yeah, I'll turn the percentage on so I can see what's happening. Um, I can change the background even the other one originally didn't really like that. I keep I keep changing over the themes at the back because I don't know what I want, but I think I'll eventually I'll just put one of my own photos on. But at the moment, to be honest, I really don't know what I want to do with this computer for photo thing. But I got to tell you what though, it is good because even in Singly, it's a few years old, but it's definitely a good computer because. Even though I haven't done much, ed I haven't done any editing on it yet. You can tell just by browsing and stuff, it is so much more powerful even than my big PC setup over there. Because even when it hasn't got two monitors or anything like that, it probably will, never will do. Only if I get my bedroom redone and I have to get rid of the PC. I'll just keep my big monitor and get rid of the corner one just there, as you can see. And then we'll put this in its spot. But I don't know. I want to keep my PC because, of course, you know I've still got a Windows one then to use. Because there are some things like I think Mac has some disadvantages and Windows has some disadvantages and some Windows has some good advantages and Mac does as well. So they just don't work all together. So it is good to have a different operating system. But I suppose that though, if I got rid of that and I had to do, you know, get rid of it and just have the one monitor, I could put this in place and then have um you can get some special software. You can have one of it, you can when you boot up, you can switch in between uh, Mac OS or Windows so I could do that in the future but I'm not going to do that for a moment because I don't need it but people have done that before and it is a good thing actually but I don't know if you can run Windows 10 because uh, that's what I'm used to now as Windows because that's what my big setup was as I uh, believe you can run it with Windows 7 and uh, that's a big drawback and I can't do really use that but uh, either way though, I'm happy the way it is, but um, it's only a future consideration. But the way it is at the moment, I'm pretty happy. It's just one thing we've got to do is we've got to clean up the uh, the charging cable. And this is, it is a bit grimy, but there are some um, stuff that you can use to clean up the wire. It will look nice because it looks a bit yellow and a bit, well, scrummy. Um, but, um, yeah. But either way though, this is the way it is. It's got backlit keyboard, but it isn't showing right now because it's quite light in here. So the keyboard's turned off its backlit keyboard. But uh, either way though, this is it. I'm just basically, before I was uh, just looking over my channel and stuff and just getting used to uh, stuff. But um, yeah though, apart from that though, I'm really getting used to how this Mac works. There's only one thing that I need to get on it that I definitely don't have, or the, especially the software to run on this, is uh, Microsoft Word or, you know, Office. As, um, well... I still use Office, it's good to keep a hand for, you know, like, especially as I now got year 11, uh, this laptop will be quite handy because um, now, as I have a laptop that's pretty good, if I have it, it'll be good for college because you know, I can take it away and do work, because most of the time a lot of kids don't carry books now, it's all laptops. Uh, so now as I've got a good laptop, I know if it'll be good for at least the good few years or so before I leave college even after a little bit after college, even university, but I don't think I'm going to get to university. I'll be happy enough, probably just go to college. Um, but for however long, don't know. Or sixth form, depends really. But I think I'll just go straight to college and that'll be that. Um, but um, yeah, though, this is uh, it. And But there is one thing there, like I said, need to get Microsoft Word because uh, I don't have the particular software to use it for Mac. And for to use it at school, college or whatever I decide to go through you need office or at least word if not powerpoint and the rest of it but I'm going to get the rest of it because now you can often get the whole lot for four quid well I don't know um if I quickly search on eBay I've been looking actually I put I've gone into eBay um I've been looking for software you know the CD or you know software on Mac and I don't know what I'm really looking for actually because you can get off office um um, Microsoft Office for Mac, but they do different types. You can get you can get the newest one. It's all gets more expensive. I'll show you in a moment. Um, Office for Mac. 
uh, is a bit different. Of course, you can't just use a CD, but I don't know. I could get the um, I could get um, it's new. Well, sort of new. I could get Microsoft. Oh, uh, I could get Microsoft Office 2011 though. That is actually the same year for this computer, and I know it definitely were. But that is a few years old. Or I could go and spend uh, more and get a 2016 one, but that's a little bit more. But it's just that part though. It's a bit funny because. You don't get a CD like the box shows, it's a downloadable key. But wherever that is, of getting it straight off Microsoft's website, then I feel comfortable with. But I don't know, it just feels a bit dodgy for you know, to get, especially like for just the 2011 one, to get something that good for 4 99 when you go to Microsoft, they charge you at least something way over that. It just seems to be a bit dodgy, but it is a good seller though, as it's managed to sell 164 of it. But um, uh, it is a bit. Except I am still getting used to it. Oh, I'm still getting used to uh, scrolling. But I could get the 2016, but who knows that it says I on. But it is a bit funny, and I'm still looking at it. But um, either way, though, I suppose I can't complain. I've got a Mac, so I can't be all that thing. I have put all... It must not be all that bad, but um, yeah. Oh, there is one thing, though, I have thought about. I could get Open Office, but that's not really... But most of the time, a lot of things to do school. Um, this ain't going to be up to the task. I'm going to ideally just going to. I'm going to need the Microsoft and the Open Office. I'm going to need the proper deal. So, even that is only one seventy nine. Like it sounds like a great thing, but um, I think I'm better off for knowing I can use it to its full benefit. I better get the real deal. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it is a thing though worth considering. But I'm just looking around because um, yeah, with proper CD. Like look at this one. It's got zero bits. I can't see this going over that much. 2008 for office for mac with everything 40 quid yeah you can't see that going well especially going to the rest of this but i don't know it's there's a lot of things going on so i gotta see what i can really do but i need to get office or at least some sort of word uh, on this computer if i'm going to get my full benefits out of it because i didn't buy it just for editing uh, i bought it so i could use it as a laptop as normal and like i would use me one as so um uh, yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a journey because I've never used a Mac before, but either way though, this is my MacBook, so I'm going to stop it here because it's only seven minutes long, but um, yeah though, finally got it. Uh, Mailforce, uh, the awful sending company, did get it here, but the person though, the seller's great because he packaged it here so well. If you're still looking, watching to this point, I will put a link in the description if you want to have a look at his stuff, because this laptop is in pretty much good condition, there's only a few little... Marks there and there, but I didn't really see in the photos, but I can't complain. He said say there was an odd scratch, odd little scratches and stuff, but it isn't in bad condition at all. I uh, just close the lid. Uh, there is just a teeny mark there, but apart from that though, you can't really see it from far away here, and it's very light. Um, but apart from that though, that's the only really, the only mark in this on this computer. So I'm definitely not complaining, as it was a good deal. Uh, but yeah guys though that was my that's my laptop so hopefully I'll catch you later on some other stuff that I've got may have office later but I think I'll get that at a later date probably by the time I got to school when I've actually finally paid off this as this cost £445 my mum and dad have gave me a bit off because of course I've been paying for me dinners when I'm going out with uh, Cope special lesson I go to don't ask why teacher said I should have done it um, so, I've, so when I've been out, I've been paying for my own dinners, so they owe me 40, 43 quid or something like that. And then they actually owe me for my old laptop because they wanted to buy it, so that's 80 quid and the food's 43. So it only adds up to 214, but it's basically almost 199 quid, so it's not bad for something that, you know, it's not too bad. So I'm not complaining, it is a good comp laptop. Oh, I think the back of it's just turning on. Yes, it is. Uh, you just can't really see it from out here, but... Uh, either way though, have got it and I'm really happy with it. So either way, I'll catch you in a bit. Hello guys, nice. how are we all doing? Luke Hodge here. And today, it is finally Thursday. And today, guess what? We finally got the Mac. Yes, I know. I'll give you a proper show in a moment, but yes. We have finally got the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And I can tell you one thing. I cannot wait because we've got it here now. We can use some software that... I've never really used before. I need to put my gel in my hair, that's why it's a bit all over the place. But it's still in progress, the hair's still going in progress. But basically though, 
Uh, now we've got the Mac, we can do a lot of things with it. Um, I've been using it for a bit um, to get my details and get and get to know it a little bit more. Well, well before you use it, because of course I've never really, I've never owned a Mac before, and it is a bit of a thing. I've had to change some settings so I know how to use it, you know, and so it works with me and learn some things how like how to scroll down. That's the funniest thing. Um, I've not. Um, I'm not used to yeah well I am now but as I know how to use it but before I normally just hold down in the corner and scroll down but you have to use the two fingers fingers to scroll you can't just get to the corner hold a mouse over the little bar and go down you have to do it with your fingers just on the scroll pad but yeah there's a bit to get used to though not giving all in particular but there's a there's a fair bit to work with so um, we're gonna have to see how well we go with that but I know there are some things I need to get that I can't get from the app store or you know any other place sort of speaking because it's too expensive or whatever blah blah blah. I would like to get Final Cut Pro but uh, noticing when I first saw that I was like oh yes finally got that now Frank can use Final Cut Pro but until I actually bought it and got it here I noticed I can't use that. Well I can but only if I spend £200 and something odd pence. And to be honest, after just spending the money on this bad boy, uh, or laptop, I don't really have that kind of money. Um, so that's definitely out of the window. Not the laptop, but that idea. Maybe at a later date when I go to college, when it, if I do plan to do this photography thing, um, it, and videoing and stuff, it'll be well worth it then. But at the moment though, it's not worth So at the moment though, I've installed iMovie on it, but I do like, and it is a... But I do like to use on my eye devices and what I do most of my blogs on if I'm just doing it off my phone because it's easier to use but though I like that more than Windows sort of speaking so this will be great on this I also use my uh, big PC setup at the end but uh, for on the go and stuff and for the quick job when I don't want to you know do that use that this will be the MacBook will be so much easier to use um, but the best thing about the iMovie on this one it's a lot more easier to use than on the tablet so the uh, quality and probably editing will be a bit better. It won't be incredible as a uh, Final Cut Pro, but it'll be somewhat better and hopefully we get the scenes to cut properly and it should be better. But um, yeah, though, here it is. I'll just show you some things. I'll just turn the camera around because, of course, it's a Mac, so you can't turn it around when it's recording, but or whatever. Okay, so I catch you a fair bit later. I've got the Mac because uh, I've gone out. I've fully charged it now, so... Now as it's been setting, we're going to do a, a cold start, well not actually a cold start, but basically a fresh start and we'll see how long it takes as it's been on a full, I've had it charging since I've gone as I dreamed it twice then, so we're going to see what happens in uh, 3, 2, 1, let's go kids. Yeah, that's very successful. It, low, it starts it up quite quickly, and then it it just takes a few minutes of time until it until it loads up. It is surprisingly not that long for being a twenty eleven. I mean, like it's not going to whiz across the screen like most of these modern ones on, but it doesn't take that long at all to come up. It probably takes less than a, a less than a minute, and then well, as soon as it gets past that screen, that's basically it. Just top your part when it's straight up and running, and it's fast. It just takes a little bit to get it, you know, at least a few seconds or so to get itself up and going. So it's not that bad at all. Um, it'll probably be take less than a minute, about 40 seconds. To... So, you know, I know that's that it's still a fair time, but there you go. It's up now. So that probably only took about 40 to 50 seconds, almost a minute, but it didn't take that long. Uh, but I'll just log in. Okay, now that's successful, it's logging in, and uh, yeah, here it is. It is running the uh, software, I've just changed uh, the background photo to the older one, just because I put for, that was the one I sort of like the looks at at the time, just to, just to uh, confirm that I'll just go in about this Mac, and I will prove that, uh, as, it has, as it is using Mac OS Serum, uh, the latest version, well, up to this date anyway, for some reason the camera won't focus on it. Uh, I'm really trying to get it to focus. Oh, there we go. Version 10.11.6. So that's the latest up to this date. Uh, it's not in 
developer mode it's just in normal mode uh, but yeah uh, here it is and I'm going to turn off the lights and so we can see the the light up uh, backlit keyboard uh, so I'm just going to kill the lights and just so I'll turn the screen brightness down a bit this is where it normally is at so it's pretty bright for night standard but I'm going to turn the screen brightness down to the minimum and I'm going to turn the, the keyboard brightness all the way up and this is how bright it gets and it does look really cool it's, it looks quite dimming in the camera's part but it actually looks really bright in the save it is really cool as it's the first time I've seen it in dark so I'll just turn that somewhat back down and uh, turn my screenness, screen brightness back up to what it normally is actually let me just turn it down because I don't know I uh, have it on 5 that's good enough and then I'll turn the screen, screen brightness up um, to somewhat how I like it that should be good enough but yeah that's the backlit display and of course we've got the light up Apple logo on the back that uh, is very cool so uh, yeah that's uh, it's up and running so oh, yeah guys basically saying it is the next morning because you can tell my hair shift around and I'm in my pajamas but basically that, that is that was basically my, my little look around and showing you lot of my MacBook Pro 13 inch, it's downstairs at the moment because I'm just down there, I just remembered I need to end this video before I made me breakfast as uh, it's already starting to head into the afternoon, well almost, not too far but you get the idea, um, but oh, as always guys thank you so much for watching, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and if you subscribe and help out Help, help, help me out with these videos and you can definitely post to see more Mac stuff and more technology and all stuff like that coming definitely sometime in the future. So uh, yeah, that was it. basically everything. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.